You're welcome. This is your hair. Oh, thanks. Here, you can have that. Oh, wow, that's pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty piece. It's like, it looks like string. It's purples yeah. and blues. Thank you. Yo, Good morning. Good morning, guys and girls. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots. Wow, that's a hard one. Yep, came in hot. <laughs> you guys hear Mochi? You'll hear our and you hear Allie's phone and probably... No, nope, I've muted it. Get out of here. Animal Crossing. Yeah, I don't have Nintendo online, so I can't visit other people's islands yet. Um, I realized, yeah. You should do that. Yeah. And then I can visit friends islands. So guys, in today's video, we kind of just wanted to do a what's sold video so you can see what's currently selling for us right now. Um, what I thought I could do in this one would be like show you, we're gonna show you 10 eBay sales from this past weekend. Uh, Cause stuff is still moving for us on eBay. Yeah. So we'll show you the type of things that are moving on eBay. And then I also wanted to show you, cause there were questions in the past, like the past couple of videos we did about vintage t-shirts and these like more expensive vintage t-shirts. I feel like a lot of people kind of questioned the value of some of the shirts. I don't think that a lot of people knew that there was value in vintage shirts and they couldn't wrap their mind around the fact that there is, sure. even whenever you told them there is. Not to like certain amounts. Yeah. Right, to certain amounts. Like people can't imagine someone would spend $800 on a vintage t-shirt. Right. If they didn't know that. Right. Like you just can't imagine it. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, I understand it too. Like things are weird right now. Why would someone spend $200 on a t-shirt? But I do want to show like things are selling. Um, the market's still pretty good for us right now. So I'm going to show you guys some of the vintage t-shirts that have sold for us over the past weekend. And then again, 10 eBay sales. And we'll just keep it lighthearted and walk around the warehouse and show you guys some things. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to our channel, what we do as a couple is we buy stuff and then we sell stuff online. That's how we make a living. And then we make YouTube videos about our journey. So yeah, if you like our channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video and please subscribe. I feel like every once in a while we should mention we're outside of Tampa, Florida, because mm -hmm. people always oh, wonder true. like, where are you guys? Right. So yeah, we're outside of Tampa, Florida. That's a good point. Yeah. And today is Monday, April 13th. And my birthday is April 18th. Ah, he's going to be 21. 21 again. <laughs> no, 32. That's crazy. Do I look 32? Maybe. You'll Don't always be young to me. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> let's go inside and uh, we'll show you some sales. Ben's here today. Hey, Ben. Hi. Ben's taking pictures of shoes. Straight out of quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Callie's here today, too. Uh, just uh, doing a little unboxing over here. What's she boxing? Um, unboxing labels. Oh, labels, labels. We got these sent to my house on Friday and we needed them for today and I drove all the way up here did some emailing and then went to the shipping and realized I left oh, them at home. Wait, sad days. Yeah. Well, thanks for going to get those. Hey, no problem. Hey, you should get stuff shipped here. I know. Uh, Callie's doing shipping. This is all uh, hair dye from one of our other eBay accounts. Yeah. So that's selling well oh, for us. Double plastic. Most of this stuff is Stuff vintage that I shipped, I think, yeah. vintage tees. Um, but I'll show you guys some of the stuff that sold. So let's look at some vintage t-shirts that sold over the weekend. Um, I'll try to find pictures of them and I'll pop them up here so you can see the exact shirt that sold. Um, so we sold the Bob Marley wrap tee, the No Woman No Cry shirt. That sold for $250. Uh, we sold the Eminem t-shirt and the Rough Riders t-shirts. Those sold together for $375. We sold the Freddy Krueger t-shirt for $155. And then we sold the Halloween 5 t-shirt for $150. Those horror tees are doing pretty well. Some of them are worth more than others, obviously, but most of them are gonna be worth at least $150 a pop. Sold a Back to the Future t-shirt for $65. Sold a Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame t-shirt for $80. Yeah, that one sold for $80. Oh, by the way, all of these prices that I'm telling you include shipping. So we're shipping them out to people for free. Um, but also keep in mind that we're not paying fees. So we're not paying like eBay or Amazon or Depop or Mercari or anything. We're not paying fees to them. So the only fees we pay are PayPal fees if the payments are not sent friends and family. So some people will pay us friends and family. The people who don't, uh, PayPal fees are 2.9% plus 30 cents of the transaction. So we're not losing a whole lot of money in fees. And then shipping most of these items because they're t-shirts will go first class. So around four bucks to ship them out. We sold that long sleeve alien all over print shirt. And then we sold the long sleeve Kurt Cobain Nirvana 
Nirvana shirt. Those also sold to the same buyer for $385 together. The Kramer shirt sold for hundred bucks. We sold that Superman shirt with Superman on the front and then Doomsday on the back. That one sold for 175 bucks shipped. We also worked a little deal. Sometimes we'll do stuff like this. If people are like really interested in higher end shirts, sometimes we'll do like a trade plus cash on top. So that's what this deal was. It was for a Tupac wrap tee and a Bulls wrap tee, both very good high value shirts, probably between like seven to eight hundred dollars worth of value in just those two shirts so for that deal we got nine shirts on trade and an additional 200 bucks on top and then one of my sadder sales of the weekend because i love these shirts uh we sold a godzilla t-shirt and an independence day t-shirt to the same person for 300 dollars for both of them i didn't even get to see the independence day one i really wanted that shirt but <laughs> cash talk so we sold both of those shirts for 300 bucks we sold that black speed racer t-shirt for 220 dollars we sold the x-men all over print shirt and the um the silver surfer shirt that i wanted to keep for myself the black one so that x-men and the surfer together we sold both of them for 450 dollars and then the saddest shirt which i didn't want to see go this soon but i know that it went to the right home and they said like it's going into their personal closet they're never going to sell it um the tyson rap tee the just bite it one front and back that shirt sold for 400 dollars. the grateful dead one was my personal shirt yeah. that one sold for how much 140 bucks yeah. and that was on ebay too yeah. yeah so that shirt sold for 140 dollars i think i actually paid up for that one though i was into it for i think 100 bucks but personal personal sale and then one of the akira shirts sold as well the black one and i feel like I feel like the person got a deal on this one. I kind of wanted to hold on to it a bit longer, um, but we sold that shirt again to the right home, sold for $500. And then last but not least, that Razor Ramon shirt that I showed you earlier, that one and the uh, Brett the Hitman Hart Undertaker shirt, those sold together for $385. So those are some of the vintage t-shirts that we sold over the weekend. Obviously things are still selling on a daily basis. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys like the kind of value that some of those t-shirts do command because again a lot of you guys seem to have the question like is stuff really still selling for higher amounts are people still willing to pay $200 plus for a t-shirt and the answer is yes if you can find the right buyer if you have the right market which we do have the right buyers to sell these t-shirts to people who have been looking for particular shirts for a while because the supply just isn't there so when they come in they tend to go out pretty fast for us. So anyway, there's some vintage t-shirts. Um, now we're gonna jump over to some eBay sales. Okay, tell, sales. Us, tell us what's sales, 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 sales. What sold last week on eBay is a <laughs> pair of shoes. Shoes are selling really well. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, some swim trunks. Okay, cool. I think those are just shorts. I don't think they're swim trunks. Shorts. Oh, you're right. They're just shorts. <laughs> they are shorts. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with a pair of. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna put this whole thing in the video anyway. Gosh so. dang it. <laughs> Last week, a pair of Tommy Hilfiger shorts sold for $19.97. Free shipping. Do you want me to just hold it up here for you? Ah. Like this? Then <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at it. Keen, Is that keen boots. 40. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Some Keen boots sold for us as well. Keen boots are selling really well because people are going out and fishing and hiking and hunting and whatnot. They sold for $40 with an additional $15.05 in shipping. $55. So, $55, wow. Wow! <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> I swear, if they come over here, the dog falls over. The dogs are running everywhere like crazy. Zero has a toy. And Ben's over here trying to get his uh, Instagram picture game on. You, guys, you don't understand what goes behind the pictures. These behind are poly the bags that I'm laying on the floor to match the background of this shirt. At Ben and Jammin behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Next item. I need to sneeze, dang it. Actually, I can show the next item because Callie is shipping them right now. We sold a few of these. <laughs> Whoa. I told you I needed to sneeze. I sneeze really loud. <laughs> we, we sold a few of these and they sell for us for 50, $55 with free shipping. Yeet. All right, here's the next one. Next one. Oh, more Keens. A lot of bloopers. I know. 
<laughs> I'll probably just make this one whole scene. Some keen waterproof shoes. They sold for $45 and then with an additional $9.95 in shipping. Callie, why don't you do this yeah, one? Callie. Oh, I was just at a polo. Oh, go they're, get them. They're running shoes and they sold for money and shipping money. <laughs> <laughs> go Wait, go get them. I'll go get them. These new balance minimum shoes sold for $29 and an additional $9.95 in shipping. 40 bucks for those things. It's pretty good. Ryan always touches the bottoms of them. He's disgusting. Wow. <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> that hurt my feelings. Are so. you making me do all of these? Because people were mad that I haven't been in the last, like, no, seven videos. I, just, well, I, just want, I wasn't invited. I wanted you to be in the videos. Until the last one. <laughs> and then I was sweaty and gross and working, and I was like, no. You told me at I the told warehouse. I told you today. No, no, no. Today, is, oh, okay. you told me you wanted me to do this video. The next item we sold, this is actually a pretty cool one. Um, it's a pair of leather alakai flip-flops, um, and they sold for quite a bit of money. And I think, they, I think they sold for so much because the retail price on these particular ones are like $150. What? Yeah, so they sold used for forty dollars plus eight dollars and forty-five cents shipping. So almost fifty bucks for a pair of used flip-flops. Oh my gosh! Flippity flop. Yeah, that's like Vionic expensive. True. Whoa. Yeah. And then a pair of UGGs slippers used. sold for us. Used slippers sold for twenty-two dollars plus ten shipping, so thirty-two bucks shipped. Um, I mean, it's hot outside here, but people still want their feet warm in places. Actually, someone sent me an Instagram picture oh the other day, and it was like blizzarding outside it's so. 95 here yeah. and like 87 percent humidity mm -hmm. it's disgusting blizzarding, blizzarding. It has to be a word thundering, thundering lightning, 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 lightning raining blizzarding. Blizzarding. the next item is a big ticket item um we actually have more of these just, was this one that you listed yeah, last week i listed it and and um, hey ben can you list these <laughs> In full disclosure, by the way, this item has not been paid for yet, but mm. the person who bought it has like 3,500 positive feedback, so I think it is going to get paid for. Um, and it, it's a big ticket item. It's a coffee machine. It sold for $1,000. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. <laughs> Those are just literally sitting people are at home, there. and they're making coffee because they're quarantined yeah, at home, true. so they want to make good coffee. And if you go to Starbucks every day or, I mean, I guess Dunkin' Donuts is a lot more affordable, but you're probably spending at least six to eight hundred dollars a year a on coffee <laughs> depending a day. on if you're buying right. other things two things left i'm gonna leave now because people are done with me they chubby's uh girls chubby's swim bathing suit one piece sold for sixty dollars for two of them for two of them yeah together someone uh, bought two of them someone bought two hopefully yeah. those don't get returned because they look weird here comes callie <laughs> Shopping. So Uggs. Sh Uggs? Berkies. Oh, we didn't even show those. I think they sold for like 30 bucks. Cool. I don't, I don't know. Show them the rest. Now it's all right. It's Oh, the Keens. The Keens. Keen boots. Nice. And more, then the water shoes. More Keens. Sweet. But I gotta get more, but my basket's full. <laughs> and then I think there was one more item. One more item. Oh, okay. This is a merino wool. Pendleton sweater vest and it sold for $48 with free shipping. Nice. <laughs> Forgot already. Wow. That's awesome. Numbers are hard. Cool. Mm, my brain. So there's a few sales that we did over the weekend. Um, we're doing like a wide variety of things, you know. How strange, right? T-shirts, shoes, thousand dollar coffee machine. Someone just dropped money on a Pendleton sweater vest Pendleton and we're going vest. into summer yeah. for the most part. Like people look at it that way, right. you know? So that is very interesting. So there you go, guys. There's some things that told for us over the weekend. Um, I'm going to end this video just back at the desk. I wanted to talk to you guys about some numbers um, just because I feel like a lot of people want to know profit margins around our business. And I feel like a lot of people, there was a comment on one of our last videos, um, the $14,000 purchase of the vintage t-shirts. Someone said, if you don't make $28,000 on the lot, then it's not worth it. And it's, that's just not the way that business works. So I'm just going to... If you wanna... want to scale and you want to purchase wholesale and in bulk, you yeah. can't have that type of a mindset because if you do, you can't scale. Yeah. And if you can find a deal where you're going to have that type of a profit margin, right? Good luck. 
But I don't want to. I don't want to. Because you probably won't. But I don't want to hate on anybody. Um, I want to actually just show you because some people just they can't grasp it until they actually see the numbers and the way that this works. So I'm just going to sit down really quick and walk through a couple of numbers and hopefully it actually helps some of you some of you guys out to kind of understand why we're willing to put so much money into something. Right. So. Education perspective is really important yeah. in business and keeping your mind open to successful people making money certain ways. Yeah. There's a reason why yeah, we've scaled the way we've scaled and it's because we aren't set in our ways mm -hmm. and we understand and have grasped and wrapped our minds around different types of profit margins for bulk buys True. and you have to. Like it's not you're going to get something for $2 wholesale and sell it for 30. Yeah. That's not how wholesale works. And we don't want anyone to think that that's how wholesale works. Exactly. If you want to scale into wholesale, exactly. Because you need to understand that that's yeah. not the way it works. Yeah. Like on, on that t-shirt deal, if, if I had offered them $4,000 for the lot, they would have laughed at me. Even $10,000, they would have laughed at you. True. Yeah. Right. So we know what we're doing. We have the market to sell the stuff. Like you, like I showed you guys earlier in the video, these t-shirts are selling for us for $200 plus. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to um, miss an opportunity right. to make money. Yeah. And it goes back to like, would you rather have 20% of a million or would you rather have, would you rather double up on a hundred bucks? You know what I mean? Would you rather make $100 or $200,000? Anyway, let me show you guys some numbers broken down. And um, that'll be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video. Share it if you would like to. And subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go like carpet squares. Nice. I'm going to go... Did everybody see the carpet squares yet? No. You want to show studio? those? your studio? Yeah. Okay. Throw that in there. Let's show the studio because the studio is almost done. And then we'll show the, some of the carpet square stuff too. All right, okay. let's go do that first and then I'll show numbers at the end. Sound panels are waiting to go in until the room's done. Studio, it is painted black now. Check it out. Whoa, whoa, oh. it looks cool on film. Does it? Yes. That's crazy. When I have the studio lights in here, it's not gonna be this, this color. It'll actually be like a white LED lights. So it'll look cool. And then this whole thing is going to have sound panels all over it. And I'm hoping they stick because I've cleaned the floor so many times that I've given up. Uh, yeah. Okay. But it's going to look like this. Cool. I'm actually going to center it since I'm doing um, a funky pattern like this. It's hard to tell in this light, but this is actually, it's like a blue. Oh, there you go. You can see the actual color now. I think that'll look really nice. And obviously the carpet will help with the noise as well, the sound, the echo. I just want to show people like how cool. See, this is why I wanted it to be black because it's like super dramatic. And I want to know what it looks like. We can put some lights in the background, obviously, but I just really like this look of. Okay. All right. The, <laughs> the camera's like this far away from my face and it's a little weird. Well. <laughs> All right, so let's break down some numbers really quick. I'm gonna do it on that $14,000 lot just so that it's, um, it's fresh in everybody's minds. So let's take $14,000 spent, 14K spent. So remember total, we got 135 shirts. So it's 14,250. So it's just about 105 bucks a shirt. Okay, so now with the way that we run our business, this figure, it's good to know this figure, like cost per item, but we look at it as the entire lot. Because we're buying so much stuff in our business, it doesn't make sense for us to track individual items anymore. We track our entire company's profit and loss. And again, to break this down, $14,250 spent, so money out. The way that I look at this purchase is if we can clear $20,000 gross, so before fees, before shipping, before everything, if we can clear 20K, I'm very happy with that. So let's say that out of this 20K, fees are $1,000. That leaves us with $19,000 before cost of goods. So let's say after selling everything together, we bring $19,000 in and we paid 14,250. That leaves us, that leaves us with a profit of $4,750. So if I take this amount and I divide it back into the original amount paid, that gives us a 33% margin. Now that's on one deal. So if we look at the business as a whole now, instead of just one deal in particular, but if we look at our, the entire business as a whole, let's say that overall our business is making a net margin of 33%. And let's say this year we do $750,000 in sales. 
that's a net profit of $247,500. So that's the way that an actual business works. You find out what your actual profit margin is, and then you buy a bunch of stuff, a lot of inventory coming in. We're moving the stuff very quickly. So an average turnover time for us on a lot like this is about a month. And this isn't the only thing we're buying. We're constantly buying inventory. So we're turning over a lot of product. But for me, I would rather have 33% of $750,000 than 100% return on $1,000. Because if you pay $1,000 for something, right, and you get 100% back and you make $1,000, now you have $2,000, that's really good, that's great, but that's one transaction. That's not a sustainable business model, right? Most of the time, an actual business cannot do that. You can't make 100% profit on a purchase. Making 33% is very good in the grand scheme of things. Would we like to turn $14,000 into $28,000? Sure, but again, guys, we are realistic in our business. So we look for deals where we can make a healthy net profit on, but we're not unrealistic where we're wanting to always double our money. I don't think that that's a healthy business model. So anyway, hopefully this kind of, I know it's a mess, but <laughs> hopefully this kind of like explains things a little bit better. Um, just be aware guys that just because you run your business a different way than we run our business doesn't mean that we're right and you're wrong and it doesn't mean that you're right and we're wrong. And again, just because we're paying $105 for a vintage t-shirt to sell it for $200 doesn't mean that everybody can do that. We have the market for it. It doesn't mean that you should be doing that. If you're paying $105 for something, you better know for sure that you're gonna be able to sell it for a profit. So don't think that because we're doing this, you can just jump into it and start doing it as well. It takes patience, it takes time, it takes a lot of experience. Vintage is good, but it's not for everybody. So don't think that you're gonna be able to spend 14K and make a whole ton of money um, without knowing what you're purchasing. But what I am trying to show you is that we do know what we're doing. We've been doing this for many, many years. Every single year we've increased our company's profit. So don't hate on something that you don't know. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Peace out guys.